Hi friends, it's story time. We have a book from school that we love. It's called Boo and Ba in the Woods. Boo and Ba are a whole series of books. Um, this is by Olaf and Lena Landstrom. And if you ever see a book by them, it's going to be good. They have a lot of great ones I'll probably read at another time. But here we can see Boo and Ba with their picnic baskets. Hmm. I wonder what they're gonna do. Let's see. Let's see what happens. The title page doesn't have any pictures, but let's go in here and it starts with this. Boo and Ba are going to the woods to pick berries. We can see that they're looking at a map and they're packing up a bag with some snacks. And I guess the baskets are for collecting the berries. I hope there won't be any ants, said Boo. I can see that this little guy has his mouth open, so maybe he's the one talking. That must be Boo. Right away, Boo and Ba start looking for berries. Can someone have picked them all? Ba asks. I'm hungry, said Boo. Boo and Ba decide to take a lunch break. So they're reaching in the bag and pulling out some food. It's nice to have a picnic in the woods, said Boo. There's an ant on your sandwich, said Ba. Can you see it? He was about to take a bite. It's a good thing that Ba noticed that there was an ant there so that he wouldn't bite it. Boo drops his sandwich. He did not want to accidentally eat an ant, right? Ba flicks off the ant and some pine needles from Boo's sandwich. So she's fixing it up for him so that he could still eat it with his face. Oh, remember he was worrying about ants before and then he almost put an ant in his mouth. Then Boo pours himself a glass of juice. Now the ant is on your juice glass, said Ba. Do you notice something else about Ba? Can you see there's an ant on her too? <sighs> then they noticed there were ants everywhere. Boo and Ba were sitting right next to an ant hill. Can you see it in the background? They decided to have a picnic right next to where the ants live, and now there's a whole trail of ants coming right towards their picnic. Oh no. They take off in a big hurry. We'll have to cross the creek, Boo shouts. I think Boo is thinking that going across water is the only way to really get rid of ants. How? asks Ba. We'll jump, said Boo. I think Boo is having an idea. He's looking at some branches nearby. He has a little knife in his hand. Mm. Hmm, this was his idea. He's going to use the branch as a pole for vaulting across the water. Boo takes a running jump his face. He's concentrating really hard. Uh-oh. Nice work, says Ba. His idea was to stick the pole down into the water and use it 
to help him jump across. If he pokes the stick down in the water, maybe that could help him get all the way across because it was too far to jump just by himself. But it seems like that didn't really work. Oh, it did work. Boing, he went all the way. Your turn, Boo tells Ba. Ba takes a running jump. This time, the pole gets stuck in the mud at the bottom of the river. Try again, said Boo. Ba decided to just climb down. Blackberries, says Ba. This is kind of funny. Do you see that the creek was actually not very deep at all? <laughs> Boo and Ba spend a long time picking berries. They finally found some. Then they eat the rest of their lunch and all the berries. I still think ants are nasty, said Boo. He does not like ants. Some people are really afraid of bugs. Maybe some animals are also afraid of bugs. And some people like bugs and are not afraid of them. I like ants. I just don't really want them crawling right on me. How do you feel about ants or bugs? I'm glad you came to Story Today. I'll see you again another day. Bye.